question <laughs> is from Aaron O'Donohoe Davis. What exercise or exercises would you recommend if the back squat is not an option? I, I love lunges. Lunges in all the varieties. Yeah, I would say Bulgarian split, split squat. squats. Oh, yeah. yeah. For I, sure. I would say the lunge is in the varieties, the different versions of lunges. Oh, it's fantastic oh, exercise. Oh, it's it's uh, it's right up there with the squat. Um, well, you it really can, is a single leg squat. That's it, it is. right? The front leg is doing the same thing it would do in a normal squat. Uh, it's just different because you split your stance. Maybe it's easier on the back for you. Um, it was an exercise that I had people do before I'd have them learn how to squat. So when I get older clients or whatever, I'd have them hold on to something for balance and I'd put like thick pads down so that they didn't have to kneel so low. And I'd tell them, kneel on the pad, stand up. And it was just teaching them how to lunge and that's the way I got them uh, to be able to do a squat. You could even make the argument that functionally speaking, lunges are superior to a squat. I've heard uh, people make that argument and, and yeah, it's pretty compelling. I've heard the argument and I've also like, I, I a bit like in the beginning when I have somebody for the first time, I tend to lean more towards lunges than I do an actual squat. And reason being is there's just a lot of stability and there's a lot of work like in a split stance where uh, I feel there's so much value to that to where if, if we can hone in on the mechanics of a lunge first and, and get, you know, the hips and the knees and everything in the right position and then build the, the strength and stability there at the same time and then apply that now to both feet, I feel like a lot of times I've had a, a, you know, a better uh, response than going into a squat. Oh yeah. It's the second, I would say I build muscle. I build almost as much muscle doing uh, lunge type movements as I do uh, with back squats. I it's, it's, it's right up there near the top. So if you can't do a back squat for whatever reason, you're not missing a lot by doing the split stance exercises, which I think are perfect. Uh, yeah, replace. I do. I do want to say though, too. Um, we're giving, I think, good generic advice. Uh, the real question would be like, why? Right? Why can't you squat? Yeah, why can't you back squat? And then, based off of what what that why is, would really dictate what other exercises I would choose sure. to do otherwise. Mm -hmm. Right. So. We are giving very generic advice right now when someone just says, uh, can't, you know, barbell back squats. Not, is it not an option because there's not a barbell in the gym? Is it not an option because you've got you low, back pain? Yeah, you've got back pain. Like I would want, I would want to know more as a trainer slash coach. But if we were just, let's pretend that we just can't have that exercise and we have to try it and our, you know, build the best programming without it, 100% lunges. Bulgarian split squat, goblet squat would be an incredible mm -hmm. exercise. Also, I like that because of how uh, deep you can get for uh, most people. Yeah, you may, you may you might be able to do a front squat. I, mm -hmm. I've worked with clients who, where the the back squat wasn't working for them, um, and we're, we were working towards getting better at a back squat, but they could do a front squat. Right, I'd put a barbell across their shoulders, and uh, it wasn't an issue. And, and a front squat is great, right? And that and that's why the why matters, right? Somebody can't do a back squat potentially because they have horrible thoracic and shoulder mobility, and mm -hmm. they just can't get the hold the bar in that position, so they end up rounding forward and it hurts their low back. So, I mean, if I saw all that, there's definitely different uh, advices that I give to whoever or whatever reasons why you can't do it. But generically speaking, I think. Bulgarian split squat, walking lunges, reverse lunge, um, uh, those those step movements. ups are good too. Step yeah, ups yeah. on a box are really good. Absolutely, they, they well, require a little more more balance. To but. that point too, like if it's a shoulder wrist mobility issue, whatever it is with the upper back, you know maybe zerchers are, are going to be an option for you too. Mm -hmm, right. Have it in a lower position. So yeah, there's there's ways around it. I think it, it depends on what the limitations are.